Hello from Trinity Lutheran Church. This week we are looking at words that have to do with energy. And our next word is run. The great race, the marathon, is inspired by the tale of Pheidippides, who in 490 BC is reported to have run approximately 25 miles from Marathon, Greece, to Athens to announce the victory of the Greeks over the Persians. But years before that, Pheidippides might have met his match in the prophet Elijah, who at one point in the scriptures runs in one clip somewhere between 17 and 30 miles. At another point, the scriptures tell us that Elijah even outran the chariots of the king. And unlike our poor Greek hero, Elijah did not die after his athletic feats. Actually, he was often running from death. Elijah was one of the last voices in Israel at that time proclaiming how life should be. The people, encouraged by the queen Jezebel, and yes, that's where we get that name, had turned to other gods, breaking the covenant God had established with the people long ago. Elijah, who is something of a superhuman character in the Bible, eventually earns the queen's wrath by killing a host of her prophets, and he has to run. It was a violent time, to say the least. When faced with violence, we have one of two responses, fight or flight. And usually, we see running as simply trying to escape. This is how Elijah saw it. He thought he was done for and just prolonging the agony. But sometimes we run not to run away, but to fight another day. And Elijah would find this was God's plan for him. God's energy would not only carry him to safety, it would set him back on the path of his mission. Sometimes we have to run, get away. But protecting ourselves at a point in life does not mean that we are done. God can and will strengthen us in our journey. And when life brings a situation we need to run from, God will help us to find a situation worth running to. Peace.